Multiplication using the algorithm. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to multiply two, three, and four digit numbers by one digit numbers without regrouping at first. An algorithm is like a shortcut strategy in math. Once you understand a math concept, you can use an algorithm to save time. So let's try multiplying 22 times 3 using the standard algorithm for multiplication. First, we'll want to rewrite the numbers so that they're on top of each other like this. Notice how the numbers are lined up with the ones under the ones. Now we'll multiply the ones together. So that's three times two, which is six. And we're gonna put the product six, the answer, down here in the ones place of our answer like this. Now we'll multiply the tens place. So we're gonna multiply the three on the bottom by the two in the tens place of the top number. Three times two is six. And this time we're gonna put that number down here in the tens place of our answer. And that's it, we have our answer. 22 times three is 66. Let's try one with a three digit number, 521 times two. So first we're going to multiply the ones places together, two times one, which is two. Then we're gonna multiply our two times the tens place, the two in the number 521. Two times two is four. And then we're gonna multiply that two by the hundreds place, two times five is 10. And then I'll add a comma to make that answer look a little better. So 521 times two is 1042. I just multiplied the ones place by the ones place, the ones place by the tens place, the ones place by the hundreds place. I multiplied that bottom number by each of the digits in the top number. Now let's try one with four digits. 2021 times four. Same thing, I'm gonna multiply times the ones, times the tens, times the hundreds, and then this time I'll also need to multiply my four times the thousands. So let's start in the ones place. Four times one is four. Four times two is eight. Four times zero is zero, and four times two is eight. We have our answer, 8,084. Let's review. Line up your numbers so that the one digit number is under the ones place of the larger number. Then multiply one place at a time until you've multiplied the one digit number by all of the digits in the top number. Now, let's look at the multiplication algorithm, still with two, three, and four digit numbers times one digit numbers, but this time, let's look at how to do it with regrouping. So we're gonna try to multiply 45 times three. Remember, first we have to line the numbers up on top of each other like this. Then, we start multiplying. We are gonna multiply the three times the five, like this. Hmm. Three times five is 15, but I can't put a 15 in the ones place of my answer. That won't work. So I need to regroup. This is just like when we add or subtract, very similar. I'm gonna put the five in my answer and I'm gonna carry or regroup that group of 10 to above the tens place because that's what the one is in the number 15. It's just a group of 10. So this is how I would record 15. The five goes in the ones place of my answer and the one is carried up to the tens place above the four. Okay, now I'm gonna multiply the tens place. So I'm gonna do three times four, which is 12. But before I write it down, I have to add that number that I carried, I have to add that to it, that one. So 12 plus the one that I carried over there is 13. And that is what I will write down to record my answer, which is 135. Let's try another one, this time with three digits, same concept. So 517 times five. Start with five times seven, that's 35. But I can't put a 35 in the ones place of my answer, that won't work. Just like when I'm adding, I'm gonna put down the five, 
and I'm gonna carry the group, the three groups of 10, I'm gonna carry the three over to the tens place because that's what it is, it's three tens. Okay, now I'm gonna multiply the five times the one, which is five, but before I write that down, I have to remember to add the three to it. I'm gonna add that number that I carried to it. Five plus three is eight. And I have one more digit to multiply, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna multiply the five times the five, which is 25. And I don't have any digits left to multiply, so I can go ahead and put the 25 down here in my answer. If I had a thousands place, I would need to regroup again. But I'm done with this problem, so I can just put the 25 down, throw a comma in there, and I see that my answer is 2,585. But of course we have to try one with four digits. So this time we're multiplying 1,158 times six. Okay, as always, let's start with the ones. Six times eight is 48. But I know that I'm going to have to regroup here. I cannot put a 48 in the ones place of my answer. So I put down the eight and I carry the four into the tens place because that's what it is. It's four groups of 10. Okay, now I'm gonna multiply by the tens place. Six times five is 30. But I know I have to add the four to it before I can write it down. So I have 30 plus four, which equals 34. Hmm. I can't put a 34 in the tens place of my answer. I'm gonna have to regroup again here. So once again, I'll put the four down and I'll carry the three to above the hundreds place. Now I'm gonna keep going. It's time to multiply by the hundreds. Six times one is six, but I can't forget to add the three to it. So I have six plus the three that I carried and that's nine and that will go in my answer. And we're almost done. I have one more digit to multiply by the thousands. And luckily it's an easy one. Six times one is six. So my answer is 6,948. Let's review. Line up your numbers so that the one digit number is under the ones place of the larger number. Multiply one place at a time until you've multiplied the one digit number by all of the digits in the top number. If you end up with a two digit answer, carry the tens or the hundreds to above the next digit and then add them in the next time you multiply. So you multiply and then you add that number that you carried before you write it down as part of your answer. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.